friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see how to export your partial view into the pdf in asp.net code so what we have here in this video is we have one view here i have named it pdf demo so what we will try to do is we will try to pass some model data here and we want to export the view as it is okay so now for this purpose what we have to do is we have to first install nugget packages we will use itextshark for, for this purpose so itextshark is basically free so you have to install these two packages that you can see on the screen now once you done installing the packages what you have to do is you have to you have to add one interface file in your project and here we have given the name render to string i think now this is we are creating for rendering view as string so we will create that and we will also add one more file view render service so which will basically find the view whichever you will pass and uh, execute the view in the code part now remember it will execute the view but uh, it will not uh, do that on the browser so it will do in the back end process so you will get this code i will provide you a link for these two files and after we have done adding these files we have created one sample model here employee with a name property you can change the data this is just to show that you can pass your own data now coming back to the controller part here what we have done is we have simply created one export method uh, you will get the code for this so this method here we have used the view render service now this view render service is coming from uh, here we have declared the view render service interface and here also we are assigning the value so memory is assigned here now we are using this below so here you have to pass the name of the file which you want to export and if you have your fonts specific fonts then you can use this piece of code for fonts so you can see that that it will it is now pointing to fonts folder and i have some added some fonts here for demo purpose and also if you want to add some special css then you can also use this piece of code and uh, for your text purpose i have uh, showed the css also so now after you done writing this code we have uh, used the method here on the index method so now we will run the application so you can see here we have created the employee model and here you are passing the view name and the data to the view render service so this will return the html that we have to set into the pdf and one more thing that i missed is you have to add scope to service for this view render service so if you don't do that then it will throw some error so you have to add scope to service here also and then it will work so now here we have it to our export method and here we have passed the name of the partial view and we have kept the partial view inside the shared folder and this is the model that we have so we have added test here now this is the html that we have written from the partial view and here you can see it has added the text here so it has basically executed the view with the data now it is creating the file and adding the font opening the document and then it will export the file 
so i will run it and the location where it will export is right now in the www folder so we will open that one so this is the file that it has created we will open that so you can see it has exported the data you can see the text there so this is how you can export your html from partial view to the pdf file so if you have any doubts about the code then you can get the code from you can search codetonight.com and here you will go on this how to export view as pdf go on that here you can download the attachment from here so download and this is the code that is the checklist i have showed you this is the downloaded code so you can use that one and uh, and test it so this is how you can export pdf from view in asp.net export so thanks for watching